so Dimitra Kondili is research uh, director at the National Center for Social Sciences in Greece. She has a background in sociology, political science, and anthropology, and has a PhD in social sciences. In SESDA, she's representing uh, the Social Data Network, uh, a network of seven scientific institutions in Greece. Dimitra, the floor is yours. Thank you. Happy to be with you. My uh, presentation concern uh, CESDA offering to the research community from uh, the CESDA service providers per perspective. What CESDA offers to the research community? A full scale sustainable research infrastructure, all sorts of digital resources, including tools and services available. And we will focus on the following just for this presentation. Research data that are being archived, curated, and distributed via the 23 national service providers around Europe, 22 members and one observer, with an emphasis on migration data. This is the data catalog, a multilingual catalog that provides information metadata on more than 36,000 data sets, the biggest data catalog for social sciences, which is a vehicle, can be a vehicle for collaborative research leading to data holdings per se via the national SPs. The training resources for research community as the SESDA Data Management Expert Guide, a joint outcome of European experts working in the SESDA SPs to support social sciences researchers make their data fair, findable, accessible, interoperable, and reusable. If we make a sample of free text search in the CDC, on migrations, it gives us 1,511 results in the English language. Approximately 12 service providers are providing data sets that respond to the search on migration. What these data sets are all about? Surveys usually conducted at national, European, and international level. Investigating migration or studying migration in a specific module or set of questions. An analysis we made of the available data sets at the level of metadata has shown that a variety of aspects and components related to migration are available. Studied period or the time perspective offers an interesting insight for further use, as migration research varies across time, reflecting this variation into the data sets and years of collection. The changes aspects then of migration phenomena are findable via data sets produced by comparative analysis, including studies between countries, group, historical periods, quantitative, qualitative, and mixed method studies at international, European, national, and local level. You can find data sets from organizations like the OECD, the International Migration Office, and others. An infographic we made for the purpose of another study uh, can show us in a, in a rapid way what uh, the migration and mobility studies uh, are within the CESDA data catalog. We have 90 uh, countries worldwide that are investigated within these data sets. We have data from 1816 to 2021. We have approximately 1400 results on migration, uh, 300 topics covered by 12 service providers topics on migratory movements of the local population, international migration statistics, migrants integration, attitudes and opinions of general public or migrants, humanitarian services assistance, condition of asylum speakers, seekers, sorry, in-depth interviews and biograph biographical research, Eurobarometer and other comparative surveys. International migration statistics, uh, general purpose multi-country survey projects collecting data on push and pull factors of international migration in selected origin and destination countries like the UK data archive uh, collect and distribute all topics which include migratory movements of the local population, meaning internal migration, 
and data sets from the beginning of the century, like the NSD, the Norwegian Data Services, or the, ne the, the Netherlands Data Archiving Services. Integration seems to occupy a central role, mainly from the 80s and onwards within CDC. Studies investigating immigration and immigrants, asylum seekers, national identity studied through the attitudes and opinions of general public or migrants within concrete societies in relation to integration. Subtopics like educational attainment, employment or unemployment of migrant populations compared to the native population. A rich material of in-depth interviews and biographical research on migrant narratives, as well as surveys, questionnaires, provide information, documentation, and the data per se to researchers' communities. If we go through the CESDA data catalog, we can see at the metadata level uh, the access to data, which is very important. The summary information, study type, creator, study number, abstract, the methodology, etc. If we go deeper to the service provider, and this is the example of the Sodanet uh, catalog, uh, we have some more uh, metadata and uh, resources and term linked to a specific survey because we use a custom-made custom uh, dataverse uh, repository. You have a female immigration in Greece, for instance, and you have uh, many, many fields uh, with relevant information, and then you can go, you can access the data per se. And then, when once a researcher finished or any potential user, the discovery of the data through the CDC, we have the Data Management Expert Guide, which, is, which has been designed by by the European experts uh, working in the service providers. And we want to make uh, researchers uh, in social sciences making their research data uh, findable, accessible, interoperable, and reusable. What is, is it, the, what is interesting within the data management expert guide is the fact that you can uh, consult independently each chapter, you can ask and uh, questions concerning uh, each chapter, which uh, the chapters are seven. That means that they present and help you to trace and uh, make the whole data life cycle. And so you can start from planning, organizing, processing, store your data, protecting your data and deal with questions concerning sensitive or personal data, etc. Archiving, publishing and discovering. Within this, the DMAG, there is the data management plan, which is an important tool as well to structure your research data management. And it plays uh, a central role in this guide. It is very demanding and very valuable also for funding purposes for research uh, proposals. Each chapter ends with questions to be answered when designing a data management plan. And in the chapters paragraph, you will be presented when you navigate it within the DMAG. Uh, you can have the information you need to answer the proposed questions. Uh, I'm focusing on, uh, on the chapter of PROTECT since uh, migration uh, data involve a lot of uh, of protection data and uh, legal requirements concerning the informed consent and the protection of of the interviews of the subject of our research so uh, you can find legal requirements of the european union member states the impact of the gdpr on research data management so when you sharing personal data uh, you can often be, uh, you can accomplish 
uh, a lot of, uh, of combination for obtaining informed consent from your uh, subject of research, uh, deal with data anonymization and regulating data access. And another uh, issue which is very important for migration uh, data, for the collection of migration uh, data, is the ethical review in managing your legal and ethical obligation. Uh, and it is very well highlighted in the chapter. For concluding our presentation, we have some challenges and opportunities when you want as a researcher or a policy maker or as a, a citizen or member of, of the civil society, uh, some challenges and opportunities to, to use our uh, tools and services. Migration is a permanent phenomenon, as we all know, and uh, uh, regarding the late 20 as well as the 21st century, uh, it has been marked by intense migration movements involving innovative methods of collecting reliable data to produce high quality research, as well as policy implications at the local, regional, uh, European and international levels involving researchers, policy makers, and any interested citizen. Hence, migration is a topic that remains high on the researchers' interest, as well as the EU political agenda. Responsible research necessary to investigate the multiple aspects of people on the move in meeting their societal needs. One of the challenges is to facilitate research worldwide by providing fair data via trusted repositories. Our role as CESDA members, CESDA data catalog constantly increases content on migration studies and related metadata via its service providers, contributing to fair data discovery. You are all welcome, welcome to use our CDC. Data management expert guide supports researchers to deal with the whole data life cycle during their journey among data, finding ways to deal with questions related to your research. We are here to help you. CESDA looks forward to promote responsible research by connecting people, data and services at both national and EU level. Thank you very much. Thank you very much, Demetra. So there you have it, of the wealth of data on, on migration that's available in the says the data catalog and how the data management expert guide covers the complete data life cycle. Mm -hmm.